how can you automatically scan for any type of security vulnerabilities and do it continuously, do it automated, and even have a log output automated for you? Let's find out. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at something called GitHub code scanning. And what GitHub code scanning allows you to do is it looks through the code that's in the GitHub repository, specifically the code that you're pointing to in the scanner, and it checks it for any type of security vulnerabilities. And it doesn't just do this once, it could do it as many times as you like. It can literally do it continuously. You can set this up in your CI CD pipeline. And not only that, but you can also get a log and a report based on the findings if there were any findings. So let's jump into GitHub and check out the demo. I'm at my GitHub here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to one of my repositories. So I'm actually going to use my Weather Checker open source app that I created. I'm gonna go into Weather Checker and we don't really have to worry about the code per se, but really what it does is it essentially uses Cobra to create a command and the command is to check weather based on your zip code and it brings back the weather temperature in Fahrenheit. So what I wanna do from here is I wanna to go to security and then right, right off the bat, we can see that there's a security overview for us. And then there's code scanning alerts. And we can either click set up code scanning right here, or we can go directly to code scanning alerts. And now what you're going to see here is actually something pretty interesting. If you've used GitHub Actions before or any type of CICD pipeline, and you've created tasks to perform a specific action for you, that's literally what this is all of these workflows are all GitHub Action workflows. So it's nothing new than if you're using Actions. The only difference is these specific workflows are set up for security testing. So let's look at the one that we're gonna wanna use here. And what this is gonna do is, it's gonna automatically detect common vul vulnerabilities and coding errors. So as you can see, it goes over C, C++, C, C Sharp, JavaScript, Java, TypeScript, Python, and Go. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on set up this workflow and right off the bat here on line, where is it? 32, we can see that it automatically knows that the code in my repo is go. So before we dive in any further, what I do want to do is if you look at, say, for example, line 43, you can see that it's using that code QL action. So before we just run it, let's actually look at that action in GitHub. So if I go here, you can go to github.com slash codeql hyphen action, and you can see how this action has been set up right here. So for example, there's like a test repo and there's a bunch of different tests in here for like Go, for example, there's one that's just a hello world. This is just testing the action based on this code here. So if we go back here, we can see that codeql is an action for essentially static code analysis inside of your GitHub repo. It's really what it is at the end of the day. So if you're interested in learning more about this action in general, you can definitely go right here. And then the one other thing that I wanted to show is there are custom queries here that you can use based on languages. So for example, you see on line 21, there's this external QL pack. And then right off the bat, there's that name there for Go queries. So I'm going to close out of these. And what I want to do is I just want to go over this workflow with you. So this is, as you saw, it was automatically generated for us. So if we scroll down here, we can see that the name is code QL. This GitHub action, this workflow, it's going to run on any time that there's a push to main or a pull request from main. There's a cron job set up right there on line 22. And then we can see the job there and the job is to analyze. It's going to be running on that Ubuntu latest GitHub runner. So that environment, that's not an environment that I'm managing or anything like that. That's an environment that GitHub is managing. Think of it as just like a, a, an automatic agent or not as nothing that's self-hosted. It's literally just something that they're managing for you. So then we can see under the metrics, we're specifying go on line 32. And then we can see the steps here. The steps are of course you know what's actually doing all the work so the first thing is the code is being checked out on line 39 and that code is just essentially being like copied to the github runner almost to that virtual environment and then we see another step here and what that's doing is it's initializing code ql for us and then on line 53 it's going to auto build for us it's going to attempt to build our code and see if there are any compiled errors and then we can also see that it's going to perform the code ql analysis 
on line 67. So with that, let's go ahead and run this. So we're gonna start commit and commit this directly to main here. And then if I go to, for example, my actions, we should see that sh very shortly, this action is gonna start to run for us. Here we go. I'm gonna click on this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to analyze and then we're gonna be able to see the workflow actually start to run. So as we can see, the first thing is it's downloading the action from code QL action of version one. It just checked out a repository. It's initializing code QL for us. It's running the auto build to make sure that the build is accurate for the Go code that's in the repository. And then now it's doing the good stuff. It's actually running the code QL analysis for us so we can check our code and see if there are any issues with it. And this of course is gonna take a little bit of time. It's not a one, two, three thing because it is analyzing all of our code. Um, it's not like a huge pro open source project or anything that I created, but there are a fair amount of lines of code in there. So we can see that it is now finalizing here. The code was extracted. So if we go here, we can see that all of the code was extracted from our repository. We can see that the finalization is happening here. And then we can see that it's analyzing and running all of those queries. And of course, those queries are all specific to Go. So if we scroll down here, we can see that these queries are still very much running. We can see that we're on 12 of 23 right now, and now it looks like it's going pretty quick. Okay, great. So the results have been uploaded successfully. The job has been completed. So now let's go back to security, and we can now see that in the overview, code scanning alerts is active. We can go to view alerts, and right now we do know we don't have any alerts happening right now. It looks like my code was good to go and I didn't have any issues. But if you do have any alerts, you'll see them here. And then you should also see anything coming up in security advisories if you've created a security advisory. So if you want to, you can click new draft security advisory and then you can create your own security advisory here so others know what's happening. And with that, that's how you can use GitHub code scanning to test your code from a security perspective. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it, and we'll see you again next time.